everyone. Who would have thought we'd be in a time like this? But anyway, today I made my own face mask out of a bandana and I don't have a sewing machine or anything so and everything that I use I already have in the house but I thought I would show you how to make one because I'm going to take this off. It's tied with shoelaces so it's adjustable and whatnot and yeah I thought I would show you how to make one because there's starting to be places where um say like in Germany they starting to get like released as such and they're saying that you have to have a face mask it's like part of like the requirement I believe um obviously I'm not in Germany I'm currently in America but um they're saying that you have to have a face mask to be able to go out into public it's kind of like a requirement even though people have said that face masks don't really do a lot um it's potentially a requirement and same as when the UK apparently start getting released it's going to be a requirement that you have to wear them on public transport don't quote me on that it's just something that I've heard but um I thought I would try and make some because obviously you don't want to buy proper face masks and whatnot because obviously people like medical staff and official places like that they need like those type of things but people have said that you can kind of make your own ones it's better than nothing and I heard that say like you can make one out of a bandana originally I'd seen a like a video clip for how to make like a no sew one so you fold it in a certain way and you don't have to like sew it and you can either use like elastic bands or like hair bands to like tie it around your ears and it didn't work <laughs> it just did not work and I do have a bit of basic like sewing knowledge so um yeah like the first one I made like without the no sew it like covered up my eyes it like covered up like my whole face and then when I tried to put it behind my ears I don't know if my ears are just soft and squidgy but like they folded over and like I couldn't keep it like tied behind my ears so I used shoelaces which I had I found in a drawer that I just had laying around and then an old bandana and I cut it and made it into a mask that I can simply just tie around my head. Um, yeah, you kind of grab the ends and you can either tie it separately or together. Just get the two ends and tie it behind your head. And it kind of worked. I mean, it it's kind of still close to my eyes. But then I don't know how you'd be able to make a mask that doesn't get close. But... It's good enough, especially if you are going to require them. I also, I heard that if you're going to do a cotton one, it's better if you d at least double it up. It works better if there's a two layer. And then I also heard that if you use like paper towel or like coffee filters, that can also make it better. So I have left a little gap where I folded it so you can like kind of, you can squish like a paper towel in as well. But obviously you can take it out, you can rewash them and whatnot. So you can put a paper towel in there and it works the same way. You can still have it and it sews up. So yeah, this is how it is. It originally, like I said, was a bandana. I got it for free. It's got Geico Motorcycle. It's an insurance company bandana that I think I picked up at like a bike show in Chicago once. I got given it for free. But as you can see, I've cut it. In half. I also didn't really want Geico. I didn't want to walk. <laughs> no offense to Geico, but I didn't want to walk around with like Geico written on my face. So um, I kind of like the design on the other side. So what I've done is I've basically folded it in half. That's obviously the side I want to wear. That's the motorcycle side. I don't. I don't really want to wear. Um, from there. I folded over the edge where I cut it. I folded over that edge and then I stitched it just so it doesn't fray because obviously if it's kind of near your mouth, you don't want it frayed. So I stitched that end first, like I hemmed it and then I folded it in half again. But then that was is now the side where you would fill it in with the paper towel. So from there, I then worked out how big I wanted it by folding the edges over. I also put my shoelaces in there. So I folded it over, measured it to see how big I wanted it on my face. And then I cut 
this excess flappy bit. And the original one where I saw about making it out of a no-sew bandana, you fold it in like that so it's even more layers. And then that's how you would then use it for like the elastic band or the hair ties. You would then trap them in this flap and then you would like wrap it around your face but like I said it didn't work on my ears so I, can, I guess you could probably sh put shoelaces in there and do the same like how I've done it so again that would almost be like no so again if you fold it in half so it's in like that then fold in the wings put like the shoelaces on them side bits again you could probably do it without no sewing but I do get a little bit like OCD and I like it to look nice so yeah like you kind of fold it in measure it against your face cut off the excess I then stitched like a line like what would be down there and I left it enough so because obviously I've only got one pair of spare shoelaces so in that way if I was to say take like say if I was going somewhere for like a long haul for example I do potentially have a flight soon that I might have to get on um so then that way I've kind of got two that I can change out during the day I can pull the shoelaces out and if I leave a big enough hole I can hopefully then just thread the shoelace through and then I've got another one that I can wear that would then obviously be clean and a little bit more like sanitary so yeah you then do that stitch it along cut off the excess and then on the little bottom bit where it opens up I then did stitch like another bit along like along this bit just so the hole wasn't so gaping so if I show you on the one that I finished like the hole is only that big it's not the full length I've just made a little tiny hole just so it's not like flappy but yeah and yeah so I stitched along there you can kind of see where it goes across and then like these are the bits on along the side Again, I don't have a sewing machine, so I just hand-stitched it along. So it's obviously not going to look great, but we're living in crazy times at the moment. It did take me about an hour and 15 minutes to do one. Like I said, it is all hand-stitched because I don't have a sewing machine. I just use, like, pins to hold it together, and then I stitched it along. So it's, yeah, nice and simple. Quick recap again. You've got a bandana. Cut it in half. Fold it in half again measure the flaps fold the flaps in either use like shoelaces elastic bands hair ties if you don't want to um do any stitching or cutting again you can just do it like that otherwise you can stitch it and cut the excess off just to make it a little bit not so big and bulky leave a little gap open so you can put some form of like a filter inside it and there you go done quickly made face masks that can I don't know you can wear them out to the shops or wherever like I said they're not like medical grade they probably won't I don't know people have, like I said people have said mixed mixed things about face masks whereas like it's not going to stop you getting it because where you have like the cracks like it can still get in through the holes but say if you were to have it then it does half stop like spit and coughs and sneezes coming out so and if it's going to be a requirement that you have to wear them in public it's better than nothing so I hope you find that helpful keep safe and I will see you in the next video bye